Good day everyone. So we have a laptop to fix. So we have this uh, HP laptop. It's an HP uh, model 14-091. Um, let me see 091. zero nine one n i that the mode of this hp laptop this laptop is coming from a cell phone uh, repair shop the guy found me uh, he said this laptop is coming from his customer and the laptop is not working it's not powering on so we have to to fix this laptop but let's plug in the power supply the power supply is on 19 volts 3.6 amps plug in the power supply 0 108 1090 uh, now it's at 0 109 so we have some kind of flicking current like 107 108 and basically if you press on the power on switch the laptop is not doing anything this is just a dead laptop huh? We once have a similar case, and uh, uh, that was a. Um, if I do remember, that was a shortage many many parallel, which I believe we must have the similar case here. Huh? If we have a similar case, we now know that if the current current is flicking. Uh, the main 19 volts power line is shorted to ground. Uh, some screws that are missing. How do I get inside this model? Let me try to get inside this. Hope this is a quick repair. I just hope this to be a quick repair. And the back cover is out. And now we have a charging port which is coming here to this far end. We have some coils here. If you can see, here's a coil, we have some MOSFETs, we have ceramic capacitor. But here looks like some kind of water damage. Huh? But let's check, let's check those diet mode. Here it's beeping, it's beeping. Here, here is beeping. So I, I guess the 19 volts power line is shorted. I think we can have a look on a microscope. Maybe we can find something. So what is this? Huh? Here looks like we have water damage. Huh? Uh, this looks like water damage. So here, I don't know what happened here. And here we have a cracked capacitor. Are you seeing this capacitor? So we have two issues here. You see this capacitor? This capacitor doesn't look good. And if I check here, around this chip, here we have some kind of, I don't know, some sort like crystal, some liquid damage. And also this side, 
You see here, this looks like water damage. So, I want to clean this motherboard first. Let's clean the motherboard. Okay. And here. And let's pay attention to that crack capacitor. I'm sure you can spot the problem. Let's take down that crack capacitor. Uh, where is my my flux and my tweezer? I want to take that capacitor and check for short. Uh, let's test for short again. Let's test for short. And the short is gone. So, we need a capacitor. We need a capacitor. Let's replace the capacitor. So the capacitor is now in place. What we want to do more? We want to insulate this chip um, against corrosion. That should be fine. What else we can do? Let's clean. Let's clean here. So now, uh, Now everything looks fine. What is that? Huh? What is that thing inside the capacitor? Okay, fine. So I'm sure we can test. I'm sure we can test. Huh? Do you think that was the only problem? So, 
if I am to check for short on on that area here, I'm checking on the ceramic capacitors connected on the 90 volts power line. It's not shorted, and I also checked the year on this capacitor, and the short is gone. So I think, uh, and you see this kind of motherboard with the heat sink and these fanless motherboards. Huh? On this motherboard, it's a mess. The processor is dying so easily because this cooling system is not proper. Plug in the power supply. What did I told you? We have light. Huh? You see that light? That light means um, if I'm to check on those capacitors uh, here, we have 19 volts. You can see on this, on the screen here, and where is the 3.3? 3.3, I can't see where is the 3.3. And I don't even know which one is the 3.3 volts power supply. Huh? The connector is going under this heat sink. On the keyboard, we have 3.3, you see? So... If we have 3.3 and 19 volts, I will say the, the laptop is ready to be powered on. Uh, here we have a switch on. It's taking 200, 400. What? And HP, it's working. Huh? It's now taking 450 milliamps and it's loading windows. So that was a a simple fault, huh? I don't know what really transpired, but after dealing with the water damage, there was a shorted cap on the 19 volts power line, and the laptop seems to be working fine. Slow, so, yeah, it's loading Windows, huh? So that's the thing about repairs. Sometimes it's, it's easy. All what you need to do is to follow the right steps. That will, in most cases, if you follow the right steps, you have positive results. Huh? It's taking. You can see it's taking four hundred. This laptop doesn't have a battery. They didn't bring in the battery. And the laptop is on. Everything is working fine. Touch page. Keyboard is responding. So, yeah, that was the repair. So, what I would do, I'll obviously I'll phone the the technician you come and you assemble everything because even screws there were just two screws there yeah so like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates so if you have anything that you don't understand or you want to ask you want to add to to to, to add on top of my videos just feel free to leave the comment and i will respond to you on the next video See you on the next one. Bye.